Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca Austin and on this channel we talk about all things Kajabi marketing and growing your online business. Now today we're going to talk about a really cool tip on how to navigate and, and to kind of define where you want your viewer of your site to go. Because there's a lot of different things that we can do inside Kajabi to make sure that we have a journey and make sure that the, the person that is on your site is going where you want to go next. Now, of course, one of the things that I always talk about with my coaching clients is that we really need to have a predetermined strategic journey that when someone comes to any page on your site that we want to already have defined the specific calls to action and the outcomes that we would like to see happen out of that particular page. And then we facilitate that through the navigation and through the calls to action and through the copy. Now inside Kajabi, there are a couple things that we can do. And of course, one of them is through our navigation and having our menu options and the custom navigation menus. Another is that you can have your call to action buttons that take them to specific places, whether it's a landing page or if it's taking to a checkout page, maybe it's taking them to a section on that page. But what do you do if what you want them to, as far as an action, is to take them to a section on another page? And did you know that we can definitely do that inside Kajabi? And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. We do this through a little thing called anchor links. Now anchor links are simply just a teeny weeny little line of code and don't let that completely intimidate you. I'm going to give you everything that you need to know to make this happen. It's strictly cut and paste. I am not a major coder either, but I do know just enough coding to be able to really do some exciting things inside Kajabi. And don't worry because this particular type of coding that we're going to do for anchor links doesn't matter which level of Kajabi you have. It works even in the basic because we're not diving into the backdoor code, we're just going into our text code. So let's dive down in and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by anchor links and how to do it inside your site. Because sometimes, like I said, you may want that call to action button uh, to take someone to a section of another page. Now, before I actually jump into showing you exactly how this is done, let's talk about a couple different scenarios where this might be a really good strategy. Now, one of course would be if you are in a blog, for example. So we always want to think about things from a strategic standpoint on our site, from a traffic leads conversions perspective and strategically take them from that in that flow. So if the traffic is coming to your site via a Google search or a social media post or something like that where we're taking them to the blog and the blog is the first thing that they're going to see, then we definitely want to be really strategic about engaging and capturing the attention of that reader. We don't want that blog, we put all this work into getting them to the blog and getting them to our site, we don't want that to be the one stop end all. We want to engage with them in some way to get them to continue their journey with us. So we may want to take them, for example, to a specific registration page for a free opt-in that you have, which is the most common. But for example, maybe you want to take them back to your home page where the special offer is a section on the home page. That way then if they're not interested in that particular offer, maybe they're interested in some of the other things that you have on your home page because typically strategically your home page is going to be more of a menu of sorts whereas other pages on your site are much more refined on a specific action like your opt-in pages or your sales pages. So what we can do then is on a blog link, we could be taking them strategically then to a section of your homepage rather than just the homepage in, in general because you know, we don't wanna necessarily have them scroll, lose interest, and then leave. So if we have a gift that we're offering them as a free lead magnet or opt-in offer, you can take them directly to that, but then they can still scroll around. So you get my point. 
So another option that you could do this is if um, you're doing, like for example, there was one time where I did a, a co-hosted a summit, and that's the example I'm gonna show you today, where on the homepage we were talking about each of the speakers, and then if they wanted to learn more about that particular speaker, they could go to the speaker page, which it took them directly to that speaker on the speaker page. Um, other scenarios that this might come into play is if you're using on your, um, like a custom menu inside your product and you've created a custom page specifically only for logged in users and we have a link inside the product that takes them to a specific section on that welcome page. So that might be, or that members only page that might be a welcome video it might be a survey it might be a testimonial kind of thing there's all kinds of things you can do with this you can see where the opportunities are just about as limited as your imagination all right so that being said let's jump on in let me share my screen here real quick and i'm going to uh, walk you through exactly how we set this up all right, so here is um, inside the Kajabi, and like I said, one of the examples, and this is what I'm gonna use today on showing you how to do this, is a summit that I co-hosted. So this is the home page for the summit itself. So you guys probably already know that if we go to a button, for example, so if I go up here and we have our button, um, you can have them, I have it right now, set to the checkout page, but we can also change this to a section on the page. So that's where if you wanna jump them to a section within an individual, like if you're staying on the same page, it, Kajabi makes it super simple to do that. But we're talking about if we wanna jump them to a section of another page, like an exterior page. And the way we do this, like I said, is through anchor links. So let's walk through this really quick. So what we're gonna do um, is I'm gonna scroll down, I'm gonna show you the example of how we did that, which is down here under our speakers. So each one of these speakers, for example, we wanted it to be where if you click on learn more about Rebecca Mountain, it takes them to our speaker page. So here we have the speaker page where we have all the speakers listed. So let's just say, for example, that we want it to jump right from uh, James and we go, when they click learn more about James, we want it to go right here rather than, of course, the top of the page or somewhere else on the page. So we're gonna set up an anchor link. So if I click on my text box, one of the things that you might already notice is that here in the text box, there's this little anchor that is, it actually looks like an anchor, how cool is that? So this is showing up because I've already added the code in here. How do we do that? Well, it makes it, Kajabi just makes it so easy for us to do this, even if we don't know code. So what we do is up here is a little, in your, your uh, text um, tools that we have is the, the two little brackets, so to speak, of source code. So this is your greater than, less than um, symbols, but we use that for code. And when you click on that, this is where it brings up another box, and you do have access to this, whether it's basic, plan, or pro levels, is to be able to access the source code on a text block. So what you will do is we're gonna add specific code at the very top of the, um, the text box. And the code that you want to add, let me bring it up for you real quick right here, is this. So it's going to be your, um, your greater than a space name equals quote, and then you're going to create whatever anchor tag you want that to be labeled as. So you're basically going to just create a, la a label. Now keep in mind, this needs to be clean, it needs to be appropriate, and it needs to make sense and be concise and short because we're gonna use this then in our URL forwarding, and I'll show you that in just a second. So for example, if you look at what I have here on this one, we kept it super simple. So it's, it's name equals quote James because we're sending them to James. One side note to definitely point out here is that these anchor tags are case sensitive. So since I said that the anchor tag is James and I capitalize the J, I do need to make sure that when we go to step two in the process that I'm gonna show you here in a second, that we use James with a capital J. So that's just a little side note. So if you're, if you're doing this and you have a little trouble getting it to work, double check your case sensitivity and make sure that you're exactly putting it in for the URL. 
But that's all there is to it, is we're putting in this particular code, and as you can see here, it's gonna, um, it ends, of course, in your, anytime we have code, we have an open, and then we have a closed. Um, so we wanna make sure we put in the, co in the close. And don't worry, I will put this co um, code in the commenting section with this video, so that way you can copy and paste it. YouTube won't let me put it into the description with the video, but I'll put it in the comments and pin the comments so that you can just take this, copy, paste, stick it into yours. Of course, changing this anchor tag to whatever it is you want it to be. So once you've set your anchor tag and you click OK, you'll notice this cute little anchor icon is going to show right here. Okay, so then step two is we need then to forward to this section of the page. So how do we do that? I'm so glad you asked. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need to have the URL of this specific page that we wanna forward to. So in this case, we're taking it to the speaker page where the anchor page is on. So the way I do that is I go down to details and I'll go ahead and leave the page because I'm not actually making changes. And then we're just gonna copy the URL that is for the page itself. Then we go back to our original page and I'm gonna go to the call to action here for James and we'll see here that for the call to action, we're going to a URL. So we wanna change our button action, because you know, and a button um, action we have, and let me take this off here so that we can see what we're doing here. So on the button action, you're going to, um, we can change this, of course, as you know, to landing page, checkout page, download a file, go to section on page, as we talked about earlier, open up the two-step pop-up or go to URL. And in this case, we wanna to go to URL because we're taking them to another page and a very specific code that we're gonna add for this section of the page. And what we do then is we paste the URL for the page and then we add in here hashtag and then your, um, your anchor code that you put in. In this case, it was James with a capital J. And when you add this, so you have your URL for the page, which is the takechargechallenge.com forward slash meet the speakers, hashtag James. And when we do that, it makes a seamless process. So if I were to preview this page, for example, and we go to the section of the page where we go down to our speakers, and I click on learn more about James, you notice that it takes us right to James. It's taking us right to that section as opposed to the top of the page. How cool is that? And that's all there is to it. It really is just that simple. So let me pop this up here for you as well so that you can see here that it is the HTTPS forward slash www.yourdomain.com and then the page URL. So whatever your, your page URL is and then hashtag and then whatever that anchor tag was that you put in there. And that's all there is to it. That's all you have to do. How easy, right? So now you have all kinds of opportunities available to you that you can open up the world of how you can create amazing navigation specifically for what you, whoops, I don't need to see me twice. Um, so we have the opening it up to the world of possibilities of what you specifically can do inside your page from a navigation standpoint or your your site from a navigation standpoint. It could be inside a product. It could be inside your, your pages. It could be um, potentially even a checkout, although I don't really recommend that you take somebody away from a checkout once you're there. But any place, that, and especially a blog, we can really do some amazing things in blogs as far as having some powerful call to action. Keep those customers on a journey with you. Bring them from a traffic to a lead where they opt in, get on your list, get on your journey, get through the nurture sequence, and then turn into a conversion. So I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to go to the comment section where I, um, as I mentioned, I will have the code in there for you. And if you're planning on using this for your site, I would love to hear about some of the ideas of how you plan on using these anchor tags to navigate people around uh, your site. So feel free to put that in the comment section as well. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to invite you to uh, like and subscribe because we do put all kinds of videos out there to help you grow your Kajabi, your, your marketing plans and helping you grow your online business. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.